Well, welcome. We're at episode 38. Wow, we're just getting up and up and more episodes. I'm so excited. We're going to be doing a misheard song lyric for the first time with the Doobie Brothers, as well as Michael McDonald in the Doobie Brothers. And the misheard lyric is, the white man has the power. And the correct lyric is, no wise man has the power. Pretty close. Now, I love this because I love Michael Donald. He is the white guy with soul, and he's also the mumbler. But it works for him, and he is amazing. Uh, the song we're talking about is What a Fool Believes. It's a song actually written by both Michael McDonald and Kenny Loggins. I did not know that. So let's talk about Michael McDonald first. He was born on February 12, 1952. He's had his birthday this year. He is an American singer, songwriter, also keyboardist and record producer. And he's known for his, like I said, distinct, soulful voice, the mumbling. And he's also the member of not only the Doobie Brothers, but he did some stints with Steely Dan. Uh, it shows one year, 1974. He also wrote uh, and sang several hit songs with the Doobie Brothers. That's how I knew him, which is including this song we're going to be talking about today, What a Fool Believes, Minute by Minute. Love that song. And taking it to the streets. That's my best Michael McDonald um, impersonation. And he also performed prominent backup vocals for other artists, one of them being... Kenny Loggins, so that's the connection, Steely Dan, and one of my favorite, what we call a yacht rock singers, Christopher Cross. And speaking of yacht rock, they have, those have said that um, Mr. Michael McDonald has been an influential figure of yacht rock, also known as the genre of soft rock, or called West Coast Sound. And the reason why it's called yacht rock is it comes from the West Coast, that's the West Coast Sound reference, and the sailing and all that, so I love it. So... The best known recording version of the Doobie Brothers, Doobie Brothers, Doobie Brothers of the song What a Fool Believes is when Michael the McDonald sings uh, the vocals, and that's how I remember it. And it was actually in their 1978 album called Minute by Minute, which is also a great song in itself. Let's talk about the Doobie Brothers. Okay, so the Doobie Brothers are a San Jose, California rock band. So there is that West Coast influence there. And there's actually five decades of the Doobie Brothers. And of course, like many bands that have been around for a long time, there's many iterations of people coming in and out. And what Wikipedia had said is that their greatest success was definitely in the 70s. And um, the group's current lineup consists of founding members. So one is named Tom Johnston, who does guitars and vocals. Patrick Simmons, who I remember, guitars and vocals. And then veteran member Michael McDonald, who does keyboards and vocals. And longtime member by the name of John McPhee, who does guitars, pedal steel, violin, and backing vocals. And then the touring musicians, want to include them, John Cowan with bass and vocals, Bill Payne, keyboards, and Mark Russo, saxophone, as well as Ed Toth with drums, and Mark Quijones in percussion. Now, now they're saying that the band, again, history can be roughly divided in five distinct or actually three distinct eras. Um, from 1970 to 1975, it featured lead vocalist Johnston, and they said it was mainly a rock and roll sound um, with elements of folk, country, and R&B. And then he quit the group in 1977, he being Johnston. So the next one is, I'm gonna just get my dog because he wants to be part of this video, so here we go. And then the next one is, um, when that happened, that's when they brought in Michael McDonald, and then he changed the music with that soulful sound, which of course made it sound like, you know, that, that white soul that I was talking about, and until it broke up in 1982, and then Simmons being the only constant member, having appeared on all of the albums. And then 1987, the Doobie Brothers reformed with Johnson back in the fold, and then McDonald, who had previously been made several guest appearances, returned to the band full-time in 2019, so just last year, so he's back. And the Doobie Brothers was actually inducted in the vocal group Hall of Fame, I didn't realize there was a specific one, um, in 2004, and was also inducted to the famous Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on November, or actually will be, actually, sorry, will be on November 7, 2020, and if, if this pandemic is still going strong, it probably will be done via web. Um, the group has sold more than 40 million albums worldwide. So a little bit more about the song that we're going to talk about, What a Fool Believes. Okay, so it debuted 
Uh, number 73, on January 20th, back in 1979. Wow. And just three months later, um, it reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on April 14th, 1979. Just within, and it stayed for one week. So quick rise. The song was one of the few non-disco number songs on the Billboard Hot 100 at the time and during the first eight months of 1979. So the lyrics actually were about a man who was reunited with an old love interest. He's like, yeah, I'm back with my old love interest. So he thinks. And attempts to rekindle what he thinks is a romantic relationship with her before unfortunately discovering that there was none that really existed. It was all in his mind. Denied. So did you know um, one of the things I didn't realize other than that it was both written by Michael McDonald and Kenny Loggins, but also supposedly Michael Jackson contrib contributed to at least one backing track to the original Doobie Brothers recording, but was not credited for it. Uh, then when the band asked about it, there was asked, it was later denied by the Doobie Brothers um, to an article written by Corey Irwin and Matt Warwood on April 21, 2020 called, the article was called, Ted Kempelman thought what a fool believe, what a fool believed was a piece of shit. And it was written on the um, ultimateclassicrock.com site. So the story was, other than the Michael Jackson, did you know, deleted back, they said no. This is an inter other interesting story. So during the recording of, you know, the, the song, What a Fool Believes, song producer Ted Templeman thought the track was less to be desired. He didn't think it was great. And of course, he was wrong, thank goodness. Uh, ended up, um, the record company said, no, we're going to still move forward with it. I'm glad they did because it received several Grammy Awards, so much that at the 1980 22nd Annual Grammy Awards for both Song of the Year and Record of the Year, it won. And with the Record of the Year, I looked at, you know, the who, who are they up against back in 1980. They won Record of the Year against Earth, Wind, and Fire's After the Love Has Gone. Love it. Love that song. They also beat out Gloria Gaynor's monster hit, I Will Survive. Um, the Gambler, Kenny Rogers, who just died recently, God rest his soul. And also the monster duet hit of Barbara Streisand and Neil Diamond, You Don't Bring Me Flowers. So I am so glad that the record company just charged on with the song because they, again, won Song of the Year and Record of the Year and beat out those, those famous other you know duo, duos as well as um, singers. And in the article, the same article that I talk about, um, written by this Corey Irwin and Matt Wardlaw, this is the quote that I love. It says... Templeman gave the acceptance speech for the latter ward, so the uh, record of the year, after the Doobie Brothers pushed him to the, what they said, effing microphone. As he exited the stage, the producer ran into another of the artists he had worked alongside. Lo and behold, Van Halen was there in tuxedos. Diamond Dave himself, David Lee Roth, walked over to me, he said, or one of them, and, he, and said, here, here's your own personal Grammy, and he dropped a gram of Coke in his hand in a little vial that is just rock and roll so um enjoy it enjoy michael mcdonald's famous mumbling i love it and the weird misheard lyric of the white man has the power which you know it means a means a lot in so many ways hope you enjoyed uh, episode 38 we're excited to talk to you again next episode and please send more info kudos and you know rate us on itunes we love it and hopefully you have a great evening and we will talk to you later bye